All right, welcome to day 26 of the Great Commission Challenge. Uh, remember our formula, HP plus CP plus CC equals MI. High potency, close proximity, and clear communication equals maximum impact. Today and all this week, we are continuing our discussion on CC or making a clear communication. Today, what I'm going to do is uh, show you a couple of videos that I think will be helpful for you as you seek to share the gospel with your friends. These are not deep theological discussions, but rather they are quick points that can be made using a napkin or a piece of paper. The first one is called Do versus Done. Let's watch it now. One illustration that I'll also use, and this is if I only have a very short amount of time to explain to someone what's at the heart of the gospel message. I'll often say that all the religions of the world can be spelled with just two simple letters, D-O. Most everyone recognizes that there's a gap or separation between us and God, that we fall short of God's standards. And so all the various religions of the world, their answer to this problem is, here's what you need to do. Pray more, give more, do these moral works, don't do this, do this. The problem with this, as we've already shown, is that no matter how much we try to do, we can never bridge that gap on our own. We always fall short of God's standards for us. And so Christianity is spelled just a little differently. It's spelled like this, done. What we can't do for ourselves, Christ has done for us. He lived a perfect, moral, upright life and then paid the penalty of our sin so that in Him, we can have the righteousness that God requires of us. It's already done for us. He's paid our debt. He's lived the life we were supposed to live. And so if we stop trusting in ourselves and the things we can do and start living for Him, and recognize that in him it's already done, then we will have a relationship with God. All right, you know, the next video that I want you to watch is another easy one that you can use to share with your friends. Uh, it's called The Bridge. So often when I'm explaining the gospel to people, I've found a couple of illustrations that are really helpful. Um, one of them, and you can write these out just on napkins, like if you're out at a restaurant, is called the bridge illustration. And it goes something like this, that between us and God, there's a separation. And the reason for that separation is our, our sin. And there may be a couple of verses that it'd be helpful to memorize if you're given this illustration. One of them is Romans 3.23, which says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the idea of this verse, if you just think about it with regards to your own life, we fall short of our own standards. I can't even live up to my standards for myself, much less God's standards. And the idea is that we fall short of the standards that God has for us. And because of that, in our relationship with Him, the Bible tells us that there is a separation. Now, how do we overcome this separation? That's the point of the Gospel. And there are a lot of religions or religious ideas or just personal ideas that people have that say this, that I'm going to just try by my own power to, in some way or another, overcome this separation. So I'll pray more, I'll do good works for God. But the problem is, uh, and this might be another verse that you memorize, Romans 6.23, which says this, that the wages of sin is death. The problem is that no matter how many good things we try to do, we keep on sinning. We don't live up to our standards, and the Bible clearly says that that sin, the wages of it, is death. And so no matter how many good things we do, we just can't overcome the fact that we have built up a debt for which we must die. And so the Bible says that God has overcome this separation for us. What we couldn't do ourselves, um, God has done through Jesus Christ. And Jesus paid the penalty of our sin. He died the death that we deserved in order that we could be with God. 
And so it's Jesus that has bridged this separation between us and God that was caused by our sin. There are other supporting scriptures that you can use with the bridge illustration. A simple Google search will help you discover more, but this is enough to get you started. I encourage you to watch this video several times until you can get comfortable using these illustrations. Maybe practice them at home before you share them with your friends. Tomorrow, I'll give you another illustration that you will find helpful as you share your faith with those you love. You guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Junkie.